What's up, YouTube? This is your boy Curtis, 504 Trucker. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about AutoZone. Um, currently working for AutoZone now. I've been there for like what going on two weeks. As y'all see, I got my AutoZone shirt on. So I just want to get like a quick review of the AutoZone in Terrell, Texas, and um. Trying to give you a little bit more insights. I'm going to try to do a video once a week to give you updates on the pay, uh, how it's going, uh, <clears throat> where the company is headed at as far as uh, needing more drivers. So, uh, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the hiring process. All right. So um, I want to say, ooh, it was about a month. It took about a month. Uh, <clears throat> Took about a month to get on. So I went online and filled out an application. Uh, a recruiter called me about Jeff. He called me, you know, it, my application looked good and everything. So wind up sending it over to the hiring manager over there. <clears throat> so pretty much, you know, I did like a hour and a half interview kind of talking about what AutoZone wanted, uh, you know, what they were looking for, what, you know, what I was looking for. Um, pretty much how to pay goals and all this, you know, pay goals, how they <clears throat> stop goals, how, um, what all the benefits they offer. So, <clears throat> so once we finished doing that, uh, I, they, they went on and get, sent me to take my drug test and my, and, uh, another DOT physical. All right. So once, you know, all that stuff came back, it took about maybe about three weeks because <clears throat> they were, uh, I guess getting ready to. I want to put it up, put our setting up for the orientation, get enough people set up for the orientation. <clears throat> and my orientation, I had I only had two drivers. I had like 18 warehouse uh, ladies and gentlemen that was going in for the warehouse. <clears throat> so, all right, so this is pretty much how it goes. Orientation is done for two days, right? Once they send you up for your, your drug test, DOT physical, uh, orientation two days once they call you, set you up for that. If mainly, it's mainly just going over the company, couple of the uh, power points. Uh, and once, it's mainly for the the new hires for the warehouse, okay? But the drivers, they kind of just sit in there and kind of listen to certain things. If we have any questions, we ask or whatever the case may be. So, uh, on the second day, what they do, they, you know, uh, maybe an hour or so to give us our badge, you know, the our badge and they also give us our gate key and uh door key because we don't come in with the warehouse we come in on the other side whereas the uh, drivers come in at so once we go through that <clears throat> you will have three and a half days of videos like 50 some videos you gotta sit down and watch the videos and you know go through that it's quiz there's there's uh it's exams at the end uh but it's not nothing that you can't pass. It's like maybe five video, maybe five questions sometimes, ten questions sometimes, fifteen. The hazmat had twenty. All right. And oh yeah, I forgot this. Uh, you don't require to have a hazmat and tankers, but you have to get them. You know, you can get you can get in the door, but you have so I think I'm not hundred percent sure. Don't quote me. I think like ninety days to get your hazmat and tankers. So if you have you have massive tankers, you you automatically you know if they call you for an interview and everything goes well, you are automatic in the deal. Okay, so having hazmat tankers, I have my hazmat tankers, so <clears throat> that always automatically put me in the deal. Okay, so um, so once you do the the videos, you did the second week, which is going out with a trainer. You have to go out with a trainer for like four weeks, where they pretty much show you about the people net. If you you know had done people net already, you know you know how the people net works. You know it's a couple of updates that have been done since I was last on it. So, but other than that, it's it's, it's self-explanatory. Okay, um, people net. Then you, you go with the trainer and you kind of go to uh, say like <clears throat> I've been to San Antonio, I've been to Oklahoma. Uh, we kind of you know run off of miles and stop. So once you got with the trainer. And he'll kind of show you how to, you know, where the stores at, how the store, you know, how they, how you basically get the, uh, the 
the parts off the, uh, the, the pallets off. You usually have anywhere from zero to 24 pallets, okay? You're in a 48-foot 48, 48 trailer with a lift gate, right? So that's that's easy to self-planter. <clears throat> show you how to use the lift gate here. You know, show you how to use an electric pallet jack. You, you, it's not a manual, it's an electric pallet jack. If you have experience with the electric pallet jack and the lift gate, that's a plus two. So once you get uh, go with the electric pallet jack, just unloading. You might first stop might have three three pallets that you got to unload. Take them three pallets down. They might have two pallets of return. You might grab them two turns, put them on the back on the trailer. You know, as you're trained here, show you how to flip the trailer, work the trailer without you know spending so much time flipping the trailer. What they call flip the trailer, which what that means is rearrange pallets so you can get to your next stop. So your first stop might be on the right, then you left, then the right, then the left, then the left, right. You know what I'm saying? So you'll have anywhere between six to eight stops, depend. If you go local, then some locals might have one pallet, two pallets. So you might get you might get 14 stops. You might get 10 stops, 12 stops. Depends on how many pallets they need. Okay. <clears throat> so pretty much it is it's it's pretty easy. But I'm gonna talk a little bit about the pay and you know the next video i'll tell you what my pay was for that week but i'm gonna give you basically how to how to pay works okay you you start off with first six months you get 49 cents a mile but you get paid 25 dollars for every store so that means if you have six stores what is that uh, about 175 dollars you make plus you get paid for the mile so if you ran 500 600 miles that day you get paid 49 cent uh per mile plus 25 cent for uh for store <clears throat> every store you stop is 25 25 dollars okay so you kind of add your miles up to the week to say like this week i had a little over 2600 miles i had 30 stores so you kind of you know you do the math on that uh for the week and then you know uh and every layover, uh, detention pay is twenty five dollars an hour. Okay, yeah, and also in orientation, you get paid twenty five dollars an hour. When you're doing your videos, it's twenty five dollars an hour. Okay, so uh, that's really not bad. Um, they kind of every week you turn your time sheet in, right? And they'll, you know, every Friday or Monday they'll put your your time sheet in there, and you'll be able to see uh what you made. If any correction needs to be done, just go talk to the the divisor. And they'll they'll get it straight for you, but other than that, I haven't got my first official check. I don't get that till January twentieth. So I will try to do updates on what's going on, how it all go for <clears throat> for us, uh, uh, you know, if it's gonna learn a long career. Just kind of give y'all some updates. Just keep y'all updated on it. Uh, and they also have a ten thousand dollar sign on bonus too. So if you know if you're in the Dallas area around the Terra, Texas. Uh, Greenville area, Roy City, uh, Rylette, not yeah, Rylette probably be close. Rock, Roy City, uh, Rockwall, in them, in them areas right there. You you know it's it's it's, it's kind of kind of quick to get there. 20, 30, 30, 40 minutes. Some you know some guys coming away from Arlington, uh, but they they making over hundred thousand dollars a year, and like they say, you get a ten thousand dollar sign on bonus. Uh, you get safety bonus at the end of the year. You get uh every million miles you hit, uh every million miles hit without an accident. That's a hundred dollars. If you work on your sixth day, you work five. You're gonna work five days, but if you work on your sixth day, if you got an extra route, you know, backhaul or whatever, they'll <clears throat> they'll give you a hundred fifty dollars plus the miles in the stop. So that's extra money too. Um, what else? What else they got going on? Um, the benefits they 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 fairly decent. They decent. They okay. They're not the best, but they it's okay. Um, what else? What else they got? Uh, I mean they got a few little things. Um, they kind of give you whatever you need out there, like the you know your glove, your uniform, shirts. You gotta have black pants, black shirt, a uh, red shirt. But they'll give you like two uniform shirts. But you also can go uh, purchase your uniform shirt. They give you gloves. They give you that light that you can put on your head to make sure you know when you do your pre-trip in the more early morning hours. And um, they give you pretty much everything you're gonna need to to succeed out there. 
and also you know they got most of their fleets uh older most of their fleets are automatic there's a couple of them that's that's 10 speed manual if you, you drove a 10 speed you should have that should be no problem with um with that but most of their they're, they're, most of their fleets are automatic and they're all getting new trucks so they they taking the older uh there's maybe about two three of them with a, a 10 speed so you, you know uh, but most of the, if you have restrictions on uh, just automatic restrictions on your license, they cool with that. So you can come in with that too. But uh, I advise you to get your hash mat in, in, in your tankers to come in. And for the road test, go, yeah, that's another thing. The road test. The road test is, is, in, a, is in a cab. You know, there's no trailer attached to it. It's in a cab. You just want to see, if, do you know basically how to control the truck, the tractor? Right, so you just you go out, hit the interstate, which is Interstate 20 right there. Go down first exit, come around, come back, hit your hit the exit, go back to the yard, and you might hear tell you to back it in in another spot right there, and you're done. But it's in a, it's in a cab, so it's nothing hard about that. Um, <clears throat> it's the only thing. The longest process is waiting for the orientation. You know what I'm saying? Because they get so many people in to have orientation. But other than that, it, it's 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 a fairly easy job. I didn't roll with three different trainers because uh the first my first trainer he you know he he uh, he had some personal issues to take so he had to take off Thursday and Friday. So I rolled with another guy to San Antonio, real cool cat uh to my man Kevin he he, he uh showed me some things you know he been there for eighteen years. Uh my 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 original trainer Mike he been there for like. 18 years too and the guy I rode with today Jane uh real cool cat um been out for like three years and he kind of gave me the ins and out and also when we get started uh, we're gonna be on the extra port but they do have team runs so if you're able to get with a team a good you know somebody that uh that you cool with that you can run with and you know y'all get it done and come on back you know it's you know it's most of it every day sometimes you might stay a little over the pen it, it it really depends. Um, but ninety nine percent of the uh, the team runs are not is you coming back home every day, right? And it's Monday through Friday, so you might have a couple of them Sunday through whatever, Saturday through whatever. But most ninety nine percent of them are Monday through Friday. So uh, so do that being said, you know it, it's a pretty pretty fairly decent company. So far, I'm I'm very happy with it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just keep giving y'all some updates. Uh, next week around this time Friday, I give you another update. That should be my paper, and I kind of can run it down, what I made, exactly what I made, how much I made, or what whatever. But um, uh, we definitely gonna keep in uh, keep in touch, you know, from here on out because I, I think we're sleeping on AutoZone, and I think we need to get that out there. And those that uh may be interested, y'all can um I'm gonna leave my name and my ID number. Y'all can kind of use me as a referral to help y'all get in the door. I know I just started, but hey, why don't I give it a shot? And also I'm gonna leave the recruiter number that uh that I talked to my man Jeff. That he kind of you know kept calling me about well, two times. He called me like two times to kind of you know take a look at him. At least go talk to him and see what's going on. And and, and he. He was right about that. So, uh, yeah, man, let's let's start out the new year with with you know trying something different. You know, maybe a long career. A couple of guys been there eighteen years. Some been there nineteen years. Some been there three, five. I mean, they they, they for for the le the last I heard is three years. And they caught a couple of guys in, and they hired <coughs> owners always opening more stores. So they needed like eighty six drivers. So with with the uh, transportation manager G told me he need uh need like 16 more drivers so they, they're all coming in with drivers so y'all need y'all don't don't sleep on it y'all check it out uh like i said it's an auto zone in tarot you know what i'm saying y'all can use my name i'll leave it in the description and, and you know just try to get in if you, if you have your hazmat and your tanker that's that's a for show sure in if you know if if you like it and y'all talking you know y'all like you know y'all fit for it you'll fit for auto zone they'll let you, you can get in quicker with like that um like I said, it, it, it's it's pretty it's pretty easy, you know. Just most of the time, it's, it's driving. If you're over the road driver, you you used to that. If you're a regional driver, you used to that. If you're kind of local, you going out three, four hundred, five hundred miles, you used to that too. But they do pay every two weeks, so uh, that's another thing. They pay every two weeks.
But like I said, I, I'm not used to it. I used to get paid every week, but now I'm getting paid every two weeks. But like I said, uh, the numbers don't lie. So we're going to see what it, what it do. Um, I'm going to keep y'all updated. So y'all have a good night. Uh, like I say, that's it. Check out AutoZone, baby. Check them out. Yes, sir.